What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Balanced Perception YouTube channel. And today we are taking a look again at our unfinished Cubone helmet. And we're going to start the first part of finishing this helmet, which is just sanding it. Well, sorry, priming it and a little bit of sanding. But that's what's on the agenda for today's episode. So let's check it out. <laughs> So if you guys remember, the last thing we did to this helmet was print it, and then we filled in the seams with resin and baby powder. If you haven't seen that episode, definitely check it out as uh, resin and baby powder, which I learned from Uncle Jesse, thank you so much again, is phenomenal. And I did do a bit of sanding on this already, so it smelled like baby powder when I was sanding it. I had my mask on, but of course, you know, when I took it off, it smelled like baby powder, so. Uh, that's either good or bad because I'm breathing in resin and plastic. But anyways, it wasn't much because I had the respirator on. So anyways, I did a little bit of sanding on this. Going to give you guys a close up look at it. We're going to go ahead, take it outside, prime it, and then see what it looks like after. So hopefully we won't be able to see the seams at all. I do feel like I covered them in resin very well. I went back and tried to pull off any of the extra pieces of plastic that were just used as support to hold up a lot of these intricate patterns. So after we... Uh, spray painted in primer. We're gonna go ahead, spray paint the whole thing light brown. And then we have to go back with a brush and get all of these intricate carvings in white. But that's for another episode today. It's just using the primer and um, seeing if we did in fact fill in a lot of our seam lines. So let's hop outside. But before that, let's take a closer look at the helmet. All right guys, so this is how the helmet looks right now before I've actually primed it. It doesn't look bad. You can see just all the white spots from where I used resin and baby powder, right there, right there. And all of the white spots are actually the seam line. So again, here, down here, none up here because we printed all of this in one piece, but just right here connecting the back is where we um, had to use the, um, the resin to cover the seam line. So just showing you guys that and we're gonna take it outside. All right, so it's been a few hours since we put our primer on there. And as you can see, hopefully here, it's not too bad in terms of the seams. Let's see if we can zoom in on that a little bit. There we go. The seam right here is not so bad. Like you could see it a little bit, but it's nothing compared to what it was before. And I'm sure I could fix that easily with a bit more uh, um, resin, but eh, I'm really okay with it as this is kind of just a test run and it's more so for fun, not exactly, you know, what I need for a con or anything. Uh, you can still see it a little bit here, right there. Again, I'm sure I could just fill that in with a bit more resin, a bit more sanding, but eh, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and be okay with it because I really, really just wanna paint this and move on to the next stages. But this is how we're looking after our very first coat of um, primer. And we're gonna go ahead and maybe just put a little bit more on as this stuff does cure extremely fast or you know dry extremely fast. And then we're gonna move on to the next phase. So that's what we have so far. All right, guys, so this is our completed, well, almost completed headpiece. I still have to paint all the accents in, of course, white, but it looks very, very good. I am definitely excited about the way that this came out. And 
Um, unfortunately, the seam lines aren't as completely going as I want, but they're still, you know, if you're looking at this from where you're looking at, you really can't see them at all compared to what you could see when I first started this. So overall, it's a win. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was definitely fun. Um, halfway finishing off this Cubone helmet. Again, we just have to paint the white or the accents in white. And then we're gonna clear coat and it's gonna be completely done. Um, looking back, if I had to start all over and do it again, I definitely would have printed this in one piece on my CR10 S5. But as you guys know, if you've been seeing my shorts, I just printed a Warhammer helmet on there, which was a seven day print. That was my very first seven day print. I don't like doing prints that long because of the potential for issues to arise with clogging or, you know, um, a layer shift or, it, you know, warping, whatever have you. So I try to stay away from long prints like that, but that one actually turned out well. So, you know, when I print this thing again, I'm definitely going to just go for a seven day print, which I really don't enjoy, but eh, you know, it takes away the work on the back end because you don't have to fill anything because it's all printed in one piece, but you do waste a decent amount of filament because you have to create supports. Anyways though, I digress. Definitely enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. I actually got this file off of Thingiverse from PSD Wizard. That was the name of the creator of this file. So hopefully you guys can, you know, print your own and do the same. If you enjoyed this episode, definitely leave a like, please subscribe. And as always, until next time, stay boundless. See you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>